Hello everyone! So today I'm going to build a new public occurrence newsstand and living area for Piper and Nat in my Sanctuary Marketplace. This was actually requested a lot and I'm going to be honest with you guys, I totally forgot about Piper, who is my love interest in this current playthrough by the way, so yeah, thanks for reminding me. Uh, this is going to be one of the quickest builds I've done because I'm using a prefab and a boxcar attached to it and then of course adding in all the little details. So I'm going to go over everything that I did to get the structure to look the way it does in the tour at the end of the video. So for the newsstand area, I'm using this prefab that I got from Vanilla Extensions. You can also get it from USO. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've seen it in there. And if you don't recognize it, this structure is from Diamond City. It's John and Kathy's Super Salon. You know, the dude with the really cool haircut and letterman jacket like he just walked off the set of Grease. With his mom who stands in the corner with a cigarette. And a facial expression that looks like a French bulldog. You know, those guys. This is the same structure, but I already built a Super Salon and this just looks better as a public occurrence anyway. Uh, I left this floor piece up here so I don't have to line the floors up again. All I did was grab a floor piece and line it up with the back edge of the roof. It's pretty forgiving, but I did have to use Place Anywhere to get it just right. Alright, so getting into the actual build part. I'm putting in scaffolding stairs that's going to lead up to Piper's living area, which is just a box car, but it looks nice, alright? She can't complain about anything. It could be a lot worse. Now, I'm using some floors right here just to have something for the box car to snap to, but eventually I switch them out with flat roofs. Like all the places in Diamond City that have an upper floor or some kind of upper outside area have roofs as a floor, like they don't add in any wood floors or walkways, so I wanted to match that. And for the box car, I'm going to use this retextured one that we get from USO. These work great because they look like they're from Diamond City with that green rusted up texture. And plus, the green goes with the public occurrences sign that I'm going to use in the front. And see, it snaps right to the floor, and now I'm going to snap in this smaller end piece to give her a little bit more room. So that's the main structure, but to make this area look a little more put together, I'm snapping in some railings and then going to snap in some posts on the corners and then snap in some roofs. The posts that I'm using here are from Workshop Rearranged under the wood tab, but you can use any that you like. And I guess while I'm in this tab, I'll go ahead and snap in the back wall and the front doorway. I was going to use the boxcar door, but this doorway makes it a little homier, you know, instead of having this big rusty door that you have to slide open every single day. I know Piper wouldn't like that too much. And see, I'm being thoughtful, which is my way of saying, I'm sorry I forgot about you. Anyways, I get these cloth roofs from Vanilla Extensions. These are pretty awesome. I try to use them as much as I can. And you can see there's a gap between the roof and the posts. I just didn't use the right size post from Workshop Rearranged, but I switched them out before the tour. So Piper's little sister, Nat, is going to live back here under the boxcar. These walls snap to the boxcar frame, and then I snapped in some floors to the walls. So that part was pretty easy. And even up here, the walls will snap to the side of this prefab, and then I use Place Anywhere for all the other ones that you'll see during the tour, including the double doorway. Like, all of those were just placed in with Place Anywhere. But that's it for the build. This is probably the shortest build video I've done. The prefab really helped out with that, like I didn't have to build all of this from scratch. But everything comes to life in the tour, so definitely stick around.
Alright, thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think, and if you have any questions, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Check out this next video, which YouTube suggested solely for you, which is pretty cool. And if you enjoyed this build, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon.